Hello guys, in this tutorial I am gonna to show how to record the audio signal in MADAP and how to take Fourier transform of audio signal. Let's have a look about audio signal in MADAP. How Read. Open the document. What you'll see in this just contents a lot of topics are given from the start to end. And let's add this one. Yes. To record, to create object for audio recording. Let's have open it. Yes, this is the simple command to record the audio signal. And uh, this is if we want to set the sampling rate and number of bits and number of channels, then we will use the following instruction. Uh, if we will use this instruction, then by default, the sampling rate will be 8000. And uh, number of bits would be 8 and channel would be 1. And this is the other variables. Let's have a look of this example. Copy and we will paste on that line. Enter. What are you doing in uh, what are they doing in your uh, example? Uh, first of all, creating record object audio recorder. It uh, it will start recording and uh, then record blocking will hold the recording for five seconds. And after uh, it will do recording for five seconds. And after that, recording will be played. And to plot the recording data, first we have to store the data that we have recorded. That's and uh, this function is used to store the data, and then we will plot the record data. And let's rerun it. Hello world. And this is the sound I speak at, and this is the time demand graph of recording. Let's take its Fourier transform, then look at what it should like. Uh, subplot two comma one comma one. Title Time Domain. And uh, now we will take the first four year transform of the signal and then we will draw the signal FFT of my REC. And then we will plot 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 two comma one comma two plot of X and to set the title which is potential domain six domain. So let's have to run it. Oh, what happened? 
time to make all oh, let's do it. No, we will find it. Hello world. Oh, what is this? What is this? Which type of this graph is? What is it saying? This is because the Fourier transform contains both the real and complex values. As we can see that x is equal to you can see that it contains real part and imaginary part. So we should have to plot only the real part of it. For your signal. Now we will plot it. Hello world. Yes, this is the for your transform of our audio recorded signal. This is time to man and this is frequency to man. And we can see that the frequency components are like this. The Fourier transform, uh, this is the center of Fourier transform for the frequency demand graph. And we can see that both sides have the same type of graph variation. This is because the Fourier transform, discrete Fourier transform, actually we are doing discrete Fourier transform in MATLAB in which only we will set the sampling frequency, not quantization. So the fast Fourier transform or discrete Fourier transform is a periodic n 2 file. So that's why we have the same graph on the both sides of it. If we take the inverse of this Fourier tra transform, then we get the original signal back. For this, we can do that. And let's extend our subplot. And y is equal to IFFT. IFFT is basically inverse for your transform of x. Then subplot. And then plot the y signal which is inverse to the transform of x. And the title is again time to man. So I will run it and record it device. Assalamu alaikum. Yes, you can see that this is our original recorded data, and this is the Fourier transform, and this is inverse Fourier transform of this signal, and we will get the almost same signal after taking it. And this is from my side of today tutorial. We will focus in our next. Take